Meanwhile, back in the U.S., Wisconsin's governor has survived a very heated recall election. Fox News correspondent Doug Lazader has the story this morning from Washington. This is just the third time in U.S. history that a governor has faced a recall election, but this time it didn't work. That voters really do want leaders who stand up and make the tough decisions. And those voters had simply jammed many polling sites around Wisconsin through the day. Turnout in the neighborhood of 65 percent, the kind of numbers you rarely see outside of a presidential election. But this race really began last year with a massive protest that followed Governor Scott Walker's decision to clamp down on public sector unions to help balance the state's books. Unions, in turn, heavily funded the effort to toss out the governor, which ended up being simply a rematch between Walker and his 2010 opponent, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, who lost this time by an even wider seven-point margin. So this is not an end tonight. This is an end of another chapter of Wisconsin's history. But there are more chapters to come. Now that's a tough point to argue against. Republicans are already taking a fresh look at Wisconsin. It's, it's clearly going to put Wisconsin, in my opinion, into play in November. There's Not so fast as the Obama campaign, even though Wisconsin voters backed their Republican governor yesterday. According to exit polls, a slim majority of them said they still support the president. So for Wisconsin voters wary of protracted political fights, this is just the beginning. And President Obama did endorse the Democrat, but he did it on Twitter, never actually campaigning for him, keeping his distance from a very difficult race. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.